but in this series, I'm gonna be going around to different departments all over Florida showing you guys what they're riding in. So today, I'm teaming up with the University of Miami Police Department to show you exactly how they're rolling. So while we're waiting for our backup to arrive, let's go and take a tour of the campus. to the very first episode of Police Cars. And I got our very first guest. Let's give a warm welcome to Officer Gutierrez. What's going on, man? How you been? Good, man. So wait a minute. Explain to him because I've seen you in another uniform, but now yes, it's you have a uniform here. Yes, you have. Uh, I retired from the city of Miami in 2016. I was in the bomb squad there my last 15 years. So how many years total did you do there? 31 years there 31 in the city of Miami. 31 years. Man, you are a legend. Well, I don't know about that. And you're, and you're keeping it going in the bomb squad here. Absolutely. All right, so tell us what we have back here then. Well, we have a 2018 Ford F-150 pickup with a police package and lights. Can we take a look? Absolutely. All right, let's look. I did there have a nice police car absolutely yes it's awesome sweet listen um i love this view here the waterfall is awesome but it's not that great for the audio what? What? yeah it is a little loud you got a place where we can go talk about the car some more absolutely perfect spot let's go I'm loving the campus, awesome stuff. Yeah. Where are we going, by the way? I'm gonna take you to meet a couple people. Meet a couple people? Yeah. Wait a minute, who's that over there? That's the chief. The chief? The chief. Hey man, you didn't tell me we were meeting the chief. Let me straighten up, man. How do I look? You look great. I didn't shave. Oh, oh my God. I believe you called back up on me, man. <laughs> Glad to see you guys here. Chief! How are you? Sir, how are you doing? Good, I hope our officer here is showing you all our great stuff. He is, outstanding to meet you, sir. Thank you no. for giving us the opportunity to check you guys out. No, my pleasure, and we, we really have some unique stuff that uh, not too many small departments like ours have, and Asus uh, will be able to show you all that great equipment. Awesome. You know, we one of the things that we felt is that every officer at UM has to be like a mini SWAT officer because we can't depend on other agencies coming to help us when something goes bad. So we've equipped all of our officers with all the equipment that you find uh, assigned to a SWAT officer. Awesome. Uh, so can we take a look? Yes, absolutely. Thank you again, yes. sir. Can't wait for you guys to see all our stuff. Awesome. All right, we got the green light. Let's give Do it a go. It's nice and quiet around here. Chief, thank you, sir. Hey, thanks, Nick. No, thank you. All right, guys, be safe. So where'd you bring me? 
Brought you to the center of the U. The center of the U. And that explains the big U. Absolutely. All right, so let's go over this bad boy right here from front to back. Well, as you can tell, we have a push bar on the vehicle with multiple lights. All right. Vehicle is equipped with lights every direction you can see on the side of the vehicle. So it's decked out just like a normal police car. Yes, absolutely. Top to bottom, head to toe. Yes. These here on the skids here, those are pretty sweet. Yeah, that's for when you park sideways, Boom. Right, visibility. That's right. All right, so keep going. I like the two-tone, the black and white. Looks nice. With the orange, with the U sign. Absolutely. You, you, always, right. you always got to represent you. Go ahead. So the back of the pickup. Yep. You put any equipment that we have, we can stick it in the back of the pickup. All it right. has a nice bed liner on it. Mm -hmm. Paint in bed liner. And the hitch. Oh, so I see you got a hitch. Absolutely, yes. We have a hitch to pull one of your utility vehicles. So let me ask you. So is this your typical patrol vehicle? No, no, no it's not. So this is a specialized vehicle. Specialized vehicle, utility vehicle. And that you said it tows your trailer. So what's inside the trailers? Inside the trailer we have barricades, we have cones, we have uh, any equipment that we need to have safety for the uh, pedestrians that are in a large crowd, a large gathering. So you get a lot of large crowds here? Yes, we do. Okay, let me ask you a quick question. All right, I might stump you here. Uh-oh. Do you know who Drake is? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. You know Drizzy Drake? Yes. All right, so uh, he came here recently to the campus. Yes, he did. did And Drake was unannounced. Yes. He, he just showed up. Absolutely. So you had to be on it. Quickly. Got this guy, went back to the station. Hooked up the trailer. Boom. And went out and set it up. Set it up. Yes. Awesome stuff. All right. So this is this is a necessity here working on campus. A lot of events. A lot, a lot of, of events going on here in the, in the U. And the U. Yes. <laughs> you guys are police officers. Yes, we are. Okay, so you enforce the laws here as well? Uh, absolutely, yes. So you write traffic tickets? We can. But you really don't? Nah. Unless it's a seminal. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, but kidding, all kidding around. Yeah. We're here mainly for the safety of the students. Okay. With the well being and rapid response for them. Okay, that explains the EOD canine? EOD canine, yes. So what, explain what is EOD? Some people might not know what EOD is. Oh, explosive ordnance disposal. Mm -hmm. And with that said, I have a bomb dog that I do all the bomb sweeps here in the university. Is the dog in there? No, he's not in there. What's, the, what's, what's Poochie's name? Thunder. Thunder! So maybe we can meet him on another vlog. Absolutely. You see what I did there, Chief? I got him to commit to another vlog. <laughs> so you showed us the suite outside. Can we take a look inside? Absolutely. So inside, more or less the same as every police car, no? Yes. With your port for the computer, your emergency equipment, basically a typical car. I've done a Ford truck and there was no box here to work the lights. So where is your box? Right there. It there. Is, there it is right there. Bam. So that's where you work, uh, that's where you work your emergency equipment? Yes. Lights and sirens. Absolutely. All the fun stuff. Yes. So this is where you mount the computer? Yes. Well, there's no computer here mm -hmm. because this is not my vehicle. Oh, makes sense. My vehicle is where me. my dog is at, and I have all my computer, all my stuff on there. I wasn't being a good listener. I apologize. You did say that in the beginning. Um, so if you were assigned to this vehicle, your computer would you go have here. a computer here. Boom. So I see no cage back there. No, no cage. Do you have cages in your patrol vehicle? Yes, they have cages. Okay. So, but this one, no cage. No, no cage. What do you got back there? Well, let me go show you. All right, let's take a look. Go. This is a ballistic vest. Every vehicle has one. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is some more of the other equipment that we were talking about. This is breaching equipment that we have in case we need to get into one of the rooms in an emergency, a kid's hurt, or whatever is causing in that room that we need to get in and we don't have a key, we use some of this uh, equipment that we have. Oh, you know what? It's kind of dark in here. Can we take that stuff out and put it back there? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Wait, before we go, what's this guy right here? Well, this is a rack. This is a shotgun rack, an AR rack, your short barrel rack for rifles. All right. That's what that is. So that's Lock it in place. That's where you secure it in the car? Yes. Do you have an AR or a yes. shotgun? Yes, we do. Oh, 
All right, are you gonna talk about that now? Uh, we will. Sorry to jump the gun. Let's go. Uh, you like what I did there? Jump the gun? Yeah. You like that? <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> This is the equipment that Chief was talking about, about being prepared. Yes. Let's see it. What do you got there? One of the, the breaching tools that we use. We place this in between the door and another partner will have the sledgehammer hit the tool and pry the door open. Now, now wait, let me guess. Uh, it's small, so it's a book bag. It's got to be some kind of, I don't know, I'm lost, I'm lost. What do you got? It's called an SBR, short barrel rifle. In there? In there. I got to see this. Wow, all right. Okay, so tell us what you got there. Well, before we continue, this is a safe, clear, and empty, no magazine, no rounds, chambers back. So it's clear. All right, so we're, we're in demonstration mode. Absolutely. All right, safety first. I like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So give us a rundown what you got, why you got it, and why you have it in that form, in that bag. Explain everything. This is the reason why we carry it. We want, we want to be inconspicuous. Okay. And, you know, like when you go to the airport yep. and you see all the other law enforcement agencies with these long guns walking around. Yeah, they got them you, out there. You worry, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So here, I mean, we want to have the students wondering, what's going on? Why are all these lung guns coming out? Makes sense. So we carry this, you know, as inconspicuous as possible. Right. You know, around the campus. Yeah, it just in a like, backpack. Yeah, I didn't even know what was in there. So right. It looks like you're just walking around with some gear. That's all. And nobody is all worried about what what is going on in the university. But at the same time, you're ready to go. Absolutely. You just bring it forward if you need to, and. <laughs> you take it out. Yes, and it's good that you have the police the patch there, the police sign there, so you, you, everyone knows. I mean, you're in uniform already, but uh, you're like, wait a minute, it's a police officer with this uh, with this rifle. All right, yes. well, that makes sense. So you guys are pretty much prepared for anything? Yes, anything that comes down to the university. It's, it's tough mm -hmm. for another department to come in here, especially in the middle of the university, mm -hmm. when it's hard to get in here with a police vehicle. We're all around here, and but at a moment's notice, you okay. can respond. Let me ask. Another question for you. How many officers do you have? We have 29 sworn personnel. Tell me more, a little bit more about the department. Like, you guys have different units? Yes, we do. We have um, CID detectives. Mm -hmm. We have a bike patrol. Okay. It's easy to get around uh, in the university. Yep. We have uh, the cane resource officer. And we have myself with my dog, Thunder. Ah, the canine unit. Canine guy. So do you guys have like a SWAT team or special response team? No, we're it. You're it? We're it. All right, outstanding. That's what I'm talking about. And what about trainings? You guys do trainings often? As much training as we can. But before we get out of here, um, can you tell us a little bit of the difference? Because I know you recently retired from the city of Miami, right. big department. Yes. And now you're working here, uh, University of Miami Police Department. It's, it's a big difference. Right. I, I had a great career with the city of Miami. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Here. It's mainly community policing. He be here for the kids. Be here for the parents. Awesome. This is this is great. All right. So you're now you're about what two years on here? Two years. So you're kind of a rookie. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am a rookie. <laughs> yeah, but uh, enjoying it so far. Having a great time. Enjoying it. Having a blast. Having to work with my dog. Everybody loves Thunder. Uh, so I, I get a lot to deal with the students, the staff. So I enjoy it. And you got to enjoy my dog. And you got a pretty cool chief. Oh, yes. Pretty Extremely. cool chief. So again, man, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And, uh, and I think we're going to sign off. So I don't, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen it yet, but you will. Okay. Uh, the way we sign off on this channel is I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. Okay. But you got to kind of pause. You say, then I'll see you. You want to give it a shot? Let's do it. All right, all right. Before we sign off, and I don't know if you're gonna remember it, but before we sign off, I have to I have to talk to the audience real quick. All right, guys, so listen up. Uh, in order for us to continue doing these awesome vehicles and visiting the police departments, I present and go on over to their social media platforms and give them a like, give them a follow, give them a subscribe, give them all that stuff so they can be encouraged and say, hey, come on down. They put out great police content. They put out great uh, University of Miami content. You, I mean, even, <laughs> even if you're an FSU fan, you should go over there and give them a like and a subscribe. So, 
The handles are Instagram and Twitter is going to be at UM Police. Make sure you go over there, follow them, like them, do all that stuff. And the Facebook's going to be University of Miami Police Department. It's pretty plain and simple. I mean, yeah. Do you remember the sign off? I don't know. We'll try it. <laughs> we'll try it. All right, here Let's we go. It. Here we go. All right, guys. So it's been real. It's been fun. And you know the sign off. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll see you. There, there you go. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. We're out.